In 2021, LEGO released the Marvel Minifig series based on characters from the new Disney Plus Marvel TV shows. This is the first time LEGO's made a minifig series based on Marvel characters. The series contains 12 unique characters, including ones from Loki, WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and What If. There's quite a lot of ones here, and I'll go through each of them individually. One other thing I want to mention is that each minifig comes with this action stand piece, which allows them to be displayed in a more dynamic way. This was introduced with the DC minifig series, and it really adds a lot more to the uh, displayability of each minifig. Scarlet Witch is the first minifig in the series by the Checklist's order. This is the version from the end of WandaVision. This minifig looks great with dual molded arms and new headpiece, and even a new cape piece that goes over just once instead of the twice around the neck like normal minifig capes. With printing on the back of the head and torso, this is definitely the most detailed Scarlet Witch minifig. The second character from One Division is a new white vision with really detailed uh, printing all the way around the back, the sides of the legs and arms, back of the head. This really is an extremely detailed minifig. This also uses a new spongy cape and comes with this accessory of the hex from One Division. Comparing this to the existing Lego Vision, you can really see how they took the design and improved it for this new series. The last character from One Division is Monica Rambo. It's not as interesting of a minifig, but it does have a really good new hairpiece, uh, printing on the back and sides of the torso, as well as the rocket drone, which is built with just five pieces. Overall, it's a good minifig for making customs. Now moving on to Falcon and the Winter Soldier. This is Bucky Barnes, or the Winter Soldier. He comes with a knife, as well as Captain America's shield. He also has a really good uh, print for the side of his arm, as well as printing on the back and the legs. He also has a really good face print, but overall it's a pretty simple minifig. Now the other main character, Falcon as Captain America. This minifig has a lot of good new prints, a new piece for his hair, as well as shield, the wings, which are incredibly detailed on both sides, as well as having that um, smaller triangular tile that comes off of it, as well as back head printing, dual molded legs, and also print on the sides of the leg and the torso and the arms. Overall, it's one of the most detailed Marvel minifigs I've ever seen. Every single piece is really well designed. This definitely raises the bar for how detailed a minifig can be. Moving on to the Loki TV series. This is the main character, and he comes with the TVA mug accessory, as well as a really detailed Frog Thor that even comes with the cape and the hammer, an entirely new piece, which has a lot of detail. The variant uh, logo on the back of his jacket, and some really good prints overall that really capture the expressions of Loki. The other character from the Loki series is Sylvie, a variant of Loki that comes with the crocodile Loki. Uh, this also has the green blade as a weapon, some good detail on the back as well as a dual sided face, a new headpiece. Um, the crocodile Loki doesn't come with its horns, but this great design by Frostbricks actually helps give him the classic Loki helmet. And overall, Sylvie is a pretty good minifig. Another one of my favourites, this is Zombie Hunter Spider-Man from the Zombies episode of What If. This is definitely the most detailed Spider-Man minifig ever made, with a really good facial expressions for Tom Holland, detailed uh, printing on the sides of the legs and the arms, dual molded legs, and overall a really great design, including the Doctor Strange cape, which uses the old style from the Sanctum Sanctorum set, as well as that white Spider-Man's webbing. The standout of the series for me, this is Zombie Captain America from the same episode. This has so many great details all around the sides of the legs, arms, and torso. Great designs for a worn out look for the helmet and shield, which could be used for normal Captain America minifigs. And overall, good parts for a zombie minifigure in general, which is why I actually brought multiples of this to make other zombie variants of different characters from the MCU. Overall, this is a really good minifig that captures the look perfectly from the show. Another character from the first episode of What If is Captain Carter, with a new shield and new coloured piece for the Tesseract. This is a really detailed minifig as well, with side printing on the legs and arms, as expected from the series by now. A great new hairpiece for Peggy Carter, a great facial expressions, and it really captures the animated style really well in the series, for all the minifigs from What If. Another character from What If, this is if T'Challa became Star-Lord, with a great new helmet piece for presenting T'Challa's hair and Preta Quill's mask. It also comes with new accessories for his blasters in a brighter silver colour, great printing overall, 
as well as a really accurate uh, facial expression. Putting him next to the normal Peter Quill, you can see how they really updated the style of design for this character, made it very specific to him, which makes it look really great and a really stylized minifig. And the last minifig in the series is Gamora, the Thanos killer. This is a version of Gamora that actually killed Thanos, and this What If character didn't appear in the first season, but the minifig looks great with printing on all sides and a good new facial expression for Gamora. So in conclusion, this is probably my favorite minifigure series of all time. All the minifigs are really great. Super detail definitely raises the bar for the level of detail that minifigs can come with. A uh, good selection overall, even though there's a few strange choices. My favorite is probably uh, Falcon or Captain America, and my least favorites are maybe Monica Rambeau or Bucky Barnes. With the level of detail and the inclusion of the action stand, this is definitely worth the $6 price mark and fits in well with the Marvel minifigs that LEGO have made in the past. This entire series is really good and I definitely recommend it to any Marvel fan. And that concludes this video. Be sure to check out some of my other Marvel related content as well as some of the things that I've done with these minifigs on Instagram. Thanks for supporting the channel. Bye!